In this chapter I would like to talk about performance of Easy Sky. Easy Sky is using two directional lights, one for the sun and one for the moon. And in a big level with a lot of objects that do shadow casting, having two directional lights that both do shadow casting can become quite expensive. What you could do in Easy Sky is have the moon and the sun sync together so that the moon is only visible during nighttime and the sun is only visible during daytime. Now this is not realistic behavior because realistically if I would put the start time at something like 104 which is uh, like five days in advance um, then you can see that the moon has not gone down yet but the sun has already come up and this is quite normal behavior. If we even go further, we see that the sun will actually catch up with the moon. Uh, there will be a certain point where it actually catches the moon. You can also see that the moon is now half moon and it will go to full moon and, and, and so on. But this could cause a lot of problems because this is quite heavy because now we have two shadow casting directional lights at the same time, which we might not want. What we could do is if we go to moon, the moon section, there is sync moon and sun cycle, which means that the moon will always follow the cycle of the sun and always do the inverse of it. So if we enable that, the moon is now gone. The moon is actually at the other side over here. And the moon will be visible again once the sun has come down. Uh, there it is. It's quite hard to see because it is also using the uh, moon phases. If we disable that for now, then we can see there is the moon. So this is an easy trick to gain quite a lot of performance. Um, I usually have this turned on because having the moon and sun in a realistic cycle is not something you would see in a game so often um, and no one is actually missing it if it's not true so I always try to turn this off I think the moon faces are something that are that is pretty cool if we um, go back a little bit then we can see that we have a half moon here which is quite nice so you don't always have a full moon uh, you could also say, okay, I don't want this, but I always want to have, like, half moon. So you can also play around with that. Now this is really about the performance when playing the game. In the editor, there is also a possibility to increase performance when just working on a level, because you don't always want to have the sky update every tick. Uh, you can disable it in the editor preview under enable editor tick, just disable it and at this point the sky will not update every tick anymore, it will not take any resources, it will just keep it like it is at this state and at any point in time you can enable it again and it will uh, start doing things again and the same goes for the rain occlusion, just disable it just disable them both if you just want to work on the level and don't want to care about the skybox at this point. Uh, and if you really want to see what's going on, then you can just enable them all again and you have a working skybox again, just like you would have when you start playing the game.